switching over to Kazakhstan for a moment, because that a problem, you know, obviously Dennis and Paul know uh, certainly a bit about ISR, I would say. What are your thoughts on, you know, the disruptions happening over there with their production centers, uh, their viability going forward? In my view, unless it's significantly recapitalized, a decline in Kazataprom production levels. Yeah, I think that's that's the way we see it as well. You know, there's uh, at least some talk a few months ago that um, Cigar Lake and Kazataprom would would plug supply gaps, and uh, yeah, we just don't see it that way. Um, you know, facilities are being idled, and uh, uh, when they come back on, they're reduced. So uh, we don't really see that uh, coming in. Uh, you know, to, to really affect the market too much. A uh, couple of other things. Uh, it's the question on Cigar Lake is really a, they've got such a burn rate on going on Karen maintenance, and they've also got a built-in advantage on waiting for contract prices to go higher. Uh, it's a real iffy situation as to when uh, they will resume production. And you know, Canada's not in complete shutdown, but certain parts of it are with this COVID, and uh, progress on COVID's not coming along due to the vaccine as well as perhaps some folks had thought based on recent reports. So that may be offline a lot longer than people think. Um, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. The Kazakhs, I don't think you're going to see a big ramp up in production here. No, I don't think they can. They've got many, many years of problems ahead and obviously <laughs> capital problems. And Cigar Lake, you know, we've continued to say that Cameco is between a rock and a hard place. And they can't really buy in spot, and they really can't they really can't do much with cigar either. So it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we, we do think you'll see the spot price rise as a result of them being more active in the spot market. But here again, uh, we don't see it being, you know, we don't see it getting to 40 bucks based on that. 35, I think, is probably pretty easy just, you know, from my guessing. Outside of it being higher, so it's relatively better, it's not enough to spur any new production. So it's not going right. to change your supply-demand uh, metric at all. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Absolutely not. And anybody who's modeled it out, like we have and some others, it's pretty clear that uh, it won't impact. 